Welcome to Electro Online. Let's do a few more examples of how to find the lowest common denominator, as we call it, the LCD. Because it's a little bit complicated, a little bit confusing. There are three different methods. And so here again, we have examples, one of each method. The first example, we have 3 8 and 5 44 The first thing we want to do is to make sure that the smallest denominator does not fit evenly into the largest denominator. In this case, that's not the case. Secondly, they're not prime numbers, so we definitely don't want to try to multiply the two denominators together. They're both even, which means they share a prime number as a factor. What we want to do then is we want to go ahead and break these numbers down. 8 divided by 2 is 4, 4 divided by 2 is 2. In other words, 8 can be written as the product of 2 times 2 times 2. We do the same with the number 44. 44, we can divide 44 by 2, that gives us 22, which is divisible by 2, which gives us 11. Since 11 is a prime number, we're at the end of the road, so to speak, which means 44 can be written as 2 times 2 times 11. To find the LCD, the lowest common denominator, we look for common factors. Here we have the number 2, and we find the number 2 as well here. Here there's three of them, 2 times 2 times 2. Here there's two of them, 2 times 2. We take the largest number of them, therefore we take all three of this one. 2 times 2 times 2. Then we look for the next uh, prime number. Here we have the number 11. We don't have it here, but again we take the largest number of them, which in this case is one of them, times 11. Which means the LCD is 8 times 11, or 88. A quick check will show you that both 8 goes into 88 and 44 goes on 88 evenly. 88 divided by 8 is equal to 11, that's an integer number, and 88 divided by 44 is equal to 2, again an integer number, so we have it correct. On the next example, we notice that 8 will indeed fit evenly into 72. The rule is, if the smallest denominator fits evenly into the largest denominator, the largest denominator becomes the lowest common denominator, or the LCD. In this case, the LCD is indeed equal to 72, because 72 divided by 8 is equal to 8, an integer number, which means that is correct. On the next example, we have 8 and 27 as denominators. Notice that 8 can be written as, if we divide 8 by 2, we get 4, divide 4 by 2, we get 2, which means that 8 can be written as 2 times 2 times 2. If we do the same with 27, 27 is divisible by 3, which gives me 9, divisible by 3, which gives me 3, or 27 can be written as 3 times 3 times 3. Even though 8 and 27 are not prime numbers, the LCD is still the product of the two denominators. And why do I know that? Because when I write A as a product of its prime numbers, or its prime factors, I should say, and I write 27 as a product of its prime factors, notice there's no prime factors in common, which means that the lowest common denominator is simply equal to, since there's three twos here, you take the largest number of them, is equal to two times two times two, and you multiply that times the largest number of 3's that you find, which is 3 times 3 times 3, which means the lowest common denominator is 8 times 27. 8 times 20 is 160. 8 times 7 is 56. 160 plus 56 is 216, which is simply the product of the two denominators. So the way you get the product of the two denominators to be the lowest common denominator is if both of these are prime numbers, which in this case they're not, or if they do not share any common factors. If they don't share any common factors, then the lowest common denominator is simply the product of the two denominators. Don't worry if you can't see that by looking at it. You simply go ahead through the, process, through the normal process. You write 8 as the product of its prime factors. You write 27 as the product of its prime factors then you realize that, look, they don't have anything in common, so you need all the twos, all the threes, which means you're simply going to multiply the denominators together. Again, this is an illustration of the three techniques. Either the smallest one fits evenly into the largest one, 
or you simply break the, the denominators down into the product of their prime factors, then you collect the largest number of each prime factor. There's three twos and there's one eleven. Multiply those together, that gives you the LCD. Or you simply go through the same process. You realize that 8 can be written as the product of 2 times 2 times 2. 27 can be written as the product of 3 times 3 times 3. Notice there's nothing in common here. None of the factors are common. That means the LCD is the product of all the factors, which in essence means the product of the two denominators. And that in that case will be the lowest common denominator. And so there's really good, three good examples of the three techniques to find the lowest common denominator.